Hello, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the W. Mason Coach Report with Head Women of the Cross Coach, Shannon Smith. Shannon, how are we? I'm doing well, Stephen. How are you today? I'm doing well. Uh, it's been a slow, roughly 10 days for your program. Only one game since, uh, the, uh, since the start of last week. It was a conference game at Delaware. Uh, Coach, a 16-11 win over the Blue Hens. What were your thoughts uh, following that game? Obviously, a, a really great win for our program, um, you know, to get that win in, in the CAA for our conference was huge. I thought that we started out pretty slow, um, but we kept fighting um, and our team showed a lot of resiliency um, at the end of the game and having a really strong fourth quarter and, and super proud of that um, because that's an area that we haven't been playing strong in second half. So to come out strong in, in the fourth quarter and to continue to fight uh, was was really really special. I thought we've had I thought we had um, a lot of different goal scorers on offense and, and different players step up at different points of the game. Um, and I thought that Shannon Boyle had a really strong uh, defensive game for us and, and was a huge leader for us out there on the field. So really great team win. Uh, really proud of our team and um, you know looking forward to uh, more games to come. Uh, you touched on it before after a very back and forth first half. Uh, you didn't have that lull that you have talked about in that third quarter. And then, as you said, you just took over in the fourth quarter. What maybe changed in this game that allowed you guys kind of to flip the script in a way? Um, you know, I think I think our team just continued to fight. Um, we showed a lot of fight. We showed a lot of heart and, and a lot of passion. Uh, and our, our kids just showed a lot of resiliency. They didn't want to lose. Uh, they wanted to win. And they really came together and, um, we know we, we really made it a point of emphasis coming out of halftime and, and going into the fourth quarter of staying focused and working hard, sticking together. Um, and I think that Katie Whalen's uh, goal there in the fourth quarter, um, that quick goal off the draw um, really um, fired up our team and, and brought a lot of energy. And we kind of just didn't look back from there. You just read my mind. My first question was going to be, Shannon, that goal to start the fourth quarter, 13 seconds in, Bryn wins the draw, sends it to Katie, and she scores. It it looked to me as watching the game like it just completely changed momentum. Uh, your team just flew from there, and Delaware seemed sunk from there. Uh, did you kind of view it as the change of momentum in the game? Uh, it was huge. It was huge. Um, and – thought Bryn had a really great game on the draw circle and on defense and, and Katie just picking up that ball and going was really big for us. And I thought that we were always knocking on the door, um, but we just weren't um, following through and getting those consistent plays one right after another. And in the fourth quarter we did, we had a lot of things come together. So um, hoping that we can now take that energy and that high level that we were playing with in the fourth quarter and expanding that into more quarters in our future games couple big games offensively for a couple players. Uh, Kerry Walzer with three goals and an assist and Taylor Neller with four goals. Uh, what did you see from them? Kerry just, she's really been coming on the last couple weeks. Hasn't she been? Kerry's been coming on strong. Um, you know, she's, she really was a defender her whole life, but she has so much speed and, and really quick feet um, and put a lot of time and effort in on the outside with shooting. So she's only gaining more and more confidence, putting more work in and, it, and is really becoming a big threat for us on our offensive side of the field. And um, it was really, really nice to see Taylor Manella um, have those four goals for, for us and get off um, early there in the beginning of the game, coming off with goals. I thought that she's been having slow starts for us. So um, it's just been conversations we've been having with Taylor and it was really nice to see her have that. And, and hopefully that's more confidence for Taylor moving forward um, into big games that we have coming up this week. And one of the players has been kind of consistent all year uh, coming back from injury, Aaron Demick, a goal and two assists in the game. She's kind of been like the calming influence on offense a little bit at times, hasn't she been? Yeah, um, you know, Erin Demick is very consistent. She has an extremely high IQ. Um, and, you know, when you give Erin some space to dodge with, she's going to finish her shot. She comes off hard. So, um, and, and she's very level-headed with, with her emotions as well. So I think that's a, a great thing for us to have on the offensive side of the field and really looking for her to have a, a really breakout April here um, for the second part of our CAA play. And we mentioned both earlier, but Bryn and Shannon uh, combined for, I think, 11 draw controls, six caused turnovers and a few ground balls. Just 
how dominant were they on the defensive end that allowed you guys to be successful? Yeah, you know, the, I, first off, before we get into their play, just uh, hats off to Shannon Boyle. I think she's been a really tremendous mentor and, and leader to Bryn. Um, having a fifth year senior, being able to mentor a freshman um, is huge for us, and especially considering they're, they're playing similar positions. And Shannon's been a really great uh, leader and mentor to Bryn. Um, and they put a lot of work in um, film, communicating, um, a lot of work in outside of practice on that draw circle with one another. Um, and they have to have a lot of communication up top in, their de in the defense as well. So hats off to them and, and the work that they have been putting in. Um, and they just they just have a lot of fight in them and they, they both have an edge to them where they wanna be super successful. So um, really exciting to see and we're gonna need to continue to have them win that many draw controls for us. And Katie's been doing a great job at placing the ball in and um it's really great to have Courtney Carello as well uh her and Katie have been a really good mix one right after another um for our draws for us to be successful and Shannon you know after a slow 10 days you now have a very busy like four days uh two CA games uh road game at Drexel on Wednesday and then home against Towson on Saturday uh what are your thoughts heading into these two games well, it's a really tough week, that's for sure, playing those two teams that close to one another. Um, we were just really excited to have that, those seven days after we played Delaware um, to regroup as a team, get better, um, and, and focus on the games that we have this week against uh, Drexel and Towson. Um, but looking forward to, to heading um, to Philly tonight uh, to prepare for our game against Drexel tomorrow um, and, and excited to play them and um, should be a really competitive game. Shannon, we wish you good luck against the Dragons and the Tigers this week, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you, Stephen. And thank you for joining us in the W. Mason Coach Report with head women's across coach, Shannon Smith.